Hey guys, today we are going to be making a crochet hook case. It's really pretty and easy to make. You will need a hook. I recommend a 4.5 millimeter hook as well as some scissors. This project is made out of scrap yarn so I can't tell you exactly how much yarn I used. However, you will need both a primary color for your inside as well as a bunch of other colors for the outside of your case. We're going to begin with the inside of our work where we will start off by doing a slip knot. To do a slip knot, you simply wrap your yarn around two fingers to create a loop. Then you're going to insert the longest piece of your yarn, the one connected to the yarn ball, <laughs> through the loop to create yet another loop. Next, we will chain 21. To do so, we will insert our hook into the loop, yarn over, and pull through. And that is one chain. That's two, three, and you will continue on until you get 21 chains. After you chain 21, we are going to complete a prep row where you will single crochet into the second chain from the hook and every chain across for a total of 20 single crochet. So we're going to find that second chain from the hook. That's our first chain and that's our second chain and we're going to single crochet into it. So I'm going to insert my hook, pull through, yarn over and pull through both loops on my hook and that is one single crochet. There's another, and you're going to continue on until you get to the end of your row. This is what your prep row should look like. Before we begin, I just wanted to emphasize that I broke this project down into steps. After you complete steps one to six, that is the equivalent of one pocket hole for your hook. This will make more sense in the future when we actually begin. So we're gonna start off with step one. Step one begins by chaining two and turning our work. Next, we're going to double crochet in the third stitch from the hook and the next four stitches for a total of five double crochet. Keep in mind that the chain two does not count as a double crochet. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook, pull through, yarn over again and pull through two loops, yarn over again and pull through another two loops. And that is my first double crochet. I'm going to do this four more times in the next four stitches for a total of five double crochets. That completes step one.
Moving on to step two, where we are going to double crochet in the back loop and back loop only of the next 15 stitches. So, really quick, we're going to locate our back loop. That's our back loop. That's another back loop. That's another back loop. And that's what we're going to be double crocheting into. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook once again, pull through, pull through two, and pull through another two. And this is where you really have to pay attention and make sure that you're only double crocheting into the back loop and not the front loop, and not the front loop and back loop, just the back loop. This is what your work should look like after completing your back loop double crochets. That brings us to step three, where we will work one double crochet into the front loop of the next 15 stitches. So, you wanna turn your work towards like a six o'clock, almost. You see how it's vertical? And you're gonna find your first front loop, which is right there, there's your second one and your third and what you're gonna do is you're gonna double crochet into those front loops so you're just gonna go right back to where you started so I'm yarning over inserting my hook pulling through through two and through another two and you'll find that you're actually going to start turning your work upside down mainly because it's just more comfortable to work that way but that's okay So just continue to work one double crochet into the front loop of the next 15 stitches.
You'll know you've completed your 15 front loop double crochets when you no longer have any more front loops to double crochet into. When you're done, your work should look almost like a hot dog bun. We're going to move on to step 4, where we are going to single crochet both the front loop and back loop double crochets. So I'm going to put them together, and first I'm going to chain 1. Next we are going to single crochet in the front and back loop double crochets for a total of 15 single crochets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair both my front loop and back loop double crochets. If you're having trouble, just count down the five double crochets that you did in step one and you'll know where your front loop and back loop double crochets begin. To start off, I'm going to insert my hook into the back of the front loop and through the back loop, pull through and complete one single crochet. Next, I'm going to find my next pair insert my hook, pull through, and complete another single crochet. By the time you reach the end, you should have 15 single crochets total. By completing step 4, you have finally made a little pocket for your hook to go in. But now we have to clean it up, so moving on to step 5, where first we are going to chain 1 and turn. Then you are to complete one single crochet in every single crochet from the previous row for a total of 15 single crochets. So there are my single crochets from the previous step or row, and what I'm going to do is single crochet in every single crochet across for a total of, again, 15 single crochets.
After you've completed your 15 single crochets, we're going to move on to our final step, which is to double crochet into the remaining 5 stitches for a total of 5 double crochets. So I'm yarning over and completing 5 double crochets. Congratulations, you have completed one pocket for your hooks. The key thing to understand here is that steps 1 to 6 are equal to one pocket. So you are to repeat steps 1 to 6 until you have your desired amount of pockets. I repeated steps 1 to 6 7 times more for a total of 8 pockets. In case anyone is still confused, here's a quick review of steps 1 to 6.
Once again, you are to complete steps one to six until you have your desired amount of pockets. Remember, I did a total of eight pockets. I've arrived at my last row where I am completing step six. This is what my work looks like so far. Again, I have eight pockets total, but you can do however many pockets you want. To finish off, I'm going to chain one, pull through a loop, grab a pair of scissors, cut my yarn, and pull through to fasten. And that completes the inside of my crochet hook case. Moving on to the outside of our work where we are going to begin by grabbing our scrap yarn and chaining 23. So this is my first collar. I'm going to make a slip knot and I'm going to chain 23. Next, we are going to proceed to row one, where I am going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and every chain across for a total of 22 single crochets. Remember, second chain from the hook, and I'm completing 22 single crochets total. That completes row one. Next, I'm going to change colors. So what we're gonna do is grab our scissors, cut our yarn from our previous row, grab our next color, and kind of make an upside down U. And we're gonna pull that U through the loop from our previous row. Then we're just going to tighten by pulling the string from the previous row 
And then we're going to gather all of our loose ends and we're ready to move on to row two. I'm going to complete 37 rows, but keep in mind that the amount of rows that you complete depends on the amount of pockets that you completed. So it's likely that if you did less than 8 pockets, then you will have less than 37 rows. And if you did more than 8 pockets, then you will have more than 37 rows. So next we're going to chain 1 and turn and begin row 2. I'm going to chain 1, turn my work, and I'm going to hide those loose ends of yarn behind my stitches from my previous row. And what I'm going to try to do is integrate them as I complete one single crochet in every stitch across for a total of 22 single crochets. So I'm going both under the stitch and under the loose ends of yarn to complete my single crochet. In doing this, it makes it easy to hide the loose ends and it makes it much more presentable. After about three stitches, I'm going to cut off and continue on to complete my single crochet and every stitch across for a total of 22 single crochets. When I'm ready to move on to my next row, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did in row one. Grab my scissors, cut my yarn, get my next color, make that upside down U, pull it through, tighten, chain one, turn my work, and begin to complete one single crochet and every stitch across continuing to hide my loose ends of yarn within the single crochets. And 37 rows later, I'm completing my last row of single crochets. And to finish off, I'm going to chain one, pull through a loop, and cut, and tighten. And that completes my outside of my crochet hook holder. Now we're going to put it all together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of my pieces, Make sure that the edges are lined up. Okay. 
And I'm also going to make sure that my pockets are facing outwards because it would actually be a nightmare if we put it together and your pockets were facing inwards. To put both of our pieces together, I'm going to single crochet the edges together. So, to do this, we're going to grab our primary color, or honestly, whatever color you want. We're going to grab our pieces and grab our hook, and we're going to insert our hook through a corner of our piece. Next, we're going to make that upside down U, and pull through. Then we're going to yarn over and make one chain to begin our single crochet. So I'm lining up the edges and generally what I like to do is put one single crochet in each color from the previous work that we did. So in that I mean that I'm going to complete one single crochet in every row of the outside cover. While you're completing your single crochets, make sure that you tuck in any loose pieces of yarn. As you can see here, I've made it all the way around. And to finish off, what I'm going to do is slip stitch into my first stitch that I made. So. I'm going to find that first single crochet and I'm just going to pull through all three loops on my hook. Next I'm going to chain one, pull through a loop, and cut. Then I'm going to tighten, and after I tighten, to hide that extra piece of loose yarn, I'm just going to tuck it in to the single crochets that I previously completed.
And we are almost done, but this is what your work should look like so far. The last thing that we're going to do is make a tie. And this is simply done by doing a long chain. So I did a long chain. I honestly could not tell you how much I chained. I think it was around 50. To end that chain, we're gonna pull through a really long loop, grab our scissors once again, cut, and tighten. Next, we are going to attach our long tie to our work. So to do this, we're going to find an end that we want to attach it to. We're going to locate the middle of that end. And we're going to insert our tie through the single crochets. Once you've done this and made sure that both ends are equal, you're just going to tie a knot to secure your tie. Next, you can tie a bow, and there you have it! Your project is done! Thank you so much for watching, and subscribe!